Welcome top news today. Donald Trump's administration is preparing to withhold tens of millions of dollars from the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. The US president will cut the year's first contribution by more than half, or perhaps entirely, and make additional donations contingent on major changes to the organization, US officials have said. Mr. Trump is yet to make a final decision, but appears more likely to send only $60 million, £44 million of the planned $125 million, £91 million first installment to the UN Relief and Works Agency UNRWA, the officials told the Associated Press. The US is UNRWA's largest donor, supplying nearly 30% of its total budget. The agency focuses on providing health care, education and social services to Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, Gaza Strip, Jordan, Syria and Lebanon. Nikki Haley says U.S. will withhold funding for Palestinian refugees. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians either fled or were forced from their homes during the war that led to Israeli's establishment in 1948. Today, there are an estimated 5 million refugees and the descendants mostly scattered across the region. The plan to withhold some of the money is backed by Rex Tillerson, the U.S. Secretary of State, and James Mattis, the Defense Secretary, who offered it as a compromise to demands for more drastic measures by Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. The officials said, Ms. Haley wants a complete cut-off in U.S. money until the Palestinians resume peace talks with Israel that have been frozen for years. But Mr. Tillerson, Mr. Mattis and others say ending all assistance would exacerbate instability in the Middle East, notably in Jordan, a host to hundreds of thousands of Palestinian refugees and a crucial U.S. strategic partner. Last week, Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian president, railed at Mr. Trump in a fiery, two-hour-long speech. He said, shame on you, for Mr. Trump's treatment of the Palestinians and warned he would have no problem rejecting what he suggested would be an unacceptable peace plan. The U.S. donated $355 million, £260 million to UNRWA in 2016 and was set to make a similar contribution this year. But after a highly critical tweet by Mr. Trump about aid to the Palestinians on 2 January, the State Department opted to wait for a formal policy decision before sending any of the funding. It's not only Pakistan that we pay billions of dollars to for nothing, but also many other countries, and others. As an example, we pay the Palestinians hundreds of millions of dollars a year and get no appreciation or respect. They don't even want to negotiate a long overdue, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 2, 2018, peace treaty with Israel. We have taken Jerusalem, the toughest part of the negotiation, off the table, but Israel, for that, would have had to pay more. But with the Palestinians no longer willing to talk peace, why should we make any of these massive future payments to them? Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 2, 2018 Mr. Trump expressed his frustration over the lack of progress in his attempts to broker peace between Israel and the Palestinians. We pay the Palestinians hundreds of millions of dollars a year and get no appreciation or respect, he tweeted. But with the Palestinians no longer willing to talk peace, why should we make any of these massive future payments to them? Eliminating or sharply reducing the U.S. contribution could hamstring the agency and severely curtail its work, putting great pressure on Jordan and Lebanon as well as the Palestinian Authority. Gaza would be particularly hard at. Some officials, including Israelis, warn that it might push people closer to the militant Hamas movement, which controls Gaza. The U.S. officials said any reduction in American assistance could be accompanied by calls for European nations and others to help make up the shortfall. Additional reporting by Associated Press Reuse Content